Okay guys, what I've got today is a something a little bit different. This is a flood ring and it's made out of hyperglow and it's to turn your, your triple LED flashlights with acrylic style optics into mules. So what do I mean by that? Here is the head from my FW3A made in copper and you can see the three LEDs in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the optic in there so you can just see the LEDs and put this glow ring. So here are a selection of lights that I have that are compatible with this glow ring. I've got my Raylight Dawn, my Raylight Gemini, the FW3A in copper, my Okluma DC1, and my Chana from uh, Lumen Essentials. This will fit in all these and it'll fit in more. So make sure you check out the Photon Freaks website for kind of a list of what type of drivers it does and doesn't fit. I know it's not compatible with the CWF Dragon, the Lux RC drivers, or the LED4 powers, but it should fit in a lot of others. And to put this in, I'm gonna put this in my Raylight Dawn here in copper. And to put this in, it's really simple. I've got the light apart. I've loosened this retaining ring and I'm just gonna go in there with a pair of tweezers and get it a little bit looser. And this part takes a little bit of time. And when I get it up this far, I just kind of grab the spring and rotate the light, head of the light out here. So here is the driver of the light and the pill. I'm just gonna remove the optic. I've got a piece of hyper glow in there to kind of glow as well. I'm gonna remove that. From there, I'm just going to put the spacer down in the bottom of the light itself. Tap it in, make sure it's in there square. And then it's as simple as just screwing back in the driver and pill assembly. Once I get it close, I just kind of snug it up. It doesn't need to be super tight. Grab my body of my flashlight, screw on the head. And this is what it looks like all said and done. You can see it's orange in there. If I turn on the light for just a second here, it'll charge up and you can see it glows even better now. And I'll insert some photos and night shots of what the beam comparison looks like with the optic and without the optic, so you can see the difference too. Okay, I wanna do some night shots here with the Photon Freaks glow ring that turns your triple LED flashlight into a mule. I've got that installed here on my Raylight Dawn, and this is mode four of five. I'll go up to top mode here, and we can see it's just a very, very floody beam. As I pan side to side, you can see it's not a hard center or anything like that. But what I did was I took out the optic and replaced it with this ring. And if I pan up, you can see it doesn't really throw very far, but honestly, in this brightest mode, it throws further than I thought it would. In comparison, here is the stock Dawn and same emitter. These are both Nisha 209C LEDs. And we can see it's a much tighter beam in the center there. And if I pan up, you can see it throws much better, but that's to be expected for both these. So again, here is with the stock optic and here is with that glow ring on there. Just different beams for different situations. Stock optic, the mule with the glow ring. And what you really wanna look at here is what these look like. The green is the stock optic and you can see the three LEDs on there. And then this is the glow ring. It's literally just a ring that fits around the outside and glows. I've got orange here, but there's a blue, a purple, and a, a green option as well here. And these glow pretty well in the daytime too. These are made in the USA out of USA material, and they come in a couple colors. You've got day green, day orange, which is what I've got here in my light, invisible aqua and invisible purple. So I'll have a link to where you can get that in the description below. In the comments, let me know if you have any questions on this or if you've got a mule light, what you use it for. I hope you've enjoyed this short little video, something a little bit different from my typical review. But as always, I'd appreciate you liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one next week. Thanks for watching.